This is a cross country recce for Link Productions. Any similarity to Herefordshire cross country winter Y Valley cross country course 20,000 2018 is purely coincidental. Uh, the producers would just like to let you know that. So we're guessing that, or no, we're not guessing because this is not the same as any course. This particular course starts around the Two Ravens retreat. I guess it's a retreat. And this cross country course starts on this road and travels down this road before branching off to the left. As we come down the road over this speed bump, see that camera or light post in the distance. Uh, we're just branching off to the left along this relatively flat path. You'll notice the deer trail signs, so you know that you will be coming back out this way in a little while. So along this flat path relatively flat for about I don't know 100 meters maybe before it starts to go down initially it's a very subtle down hardly noticeable but it is and it's going to be very it's going to be quick certainly going to be a very fast start to this race I think as you're coming along the path then it bends quite sharply to the left and the descent the gradient starts to increase so it'll start to get a lot quicker at this point as I said getting steeper getting quicker getting a little bit more dangerous although this isn't as bad this side I don't think compared to the other side of the hill and you'll notice there's a little fork in the track here and we're going off to the right you see that still it's very very quick down here towards that grassy area okay we're arriving the grassy bit this is where it starts to flatten level off a bit before we're going to be climbing slightly uh, so far what what we've done so far you wouldn't need grippy shoes on you could get away with trail shoes so far uh, but as we're going to be climbing slightly up there but it is only a short climb it's not very steep with the momentum that you've got from coming down so far you can really keep the speed on on this little section of climb you don't have to slow down because as soon as you get to this top corner you're going to be turning left and going down again okay so we're approaching this corner immediate left and it starts to starts to fall straight away before you come to another quite a very fast technical down hill down here taking care it's not too bad there's the odd bramble but uh, it's not too bad so this is towards the end of that down section you got the path split and you go slightly you go to the left still going down but in a moment it will level off 
along on that corner coming up. So it's leveled off now. This is the lowest point of the northern side on the first loop. Um, if you, if I look to the right, you should be able to see the railway, railway track. So that's the tunnel coming out. So this is flat, but it's only, it's only for a short while before we then turn left and start climbing back up the hill again. Still on this bottom section, you know that as you come along, if you're seeing that house there in this field, to your right, you know where you are in relation to the course as we come up towards this gate we're going to be turning left and then the climbing starts not steep but it just goes on and on just as you think you've You've got to keep going straight ahead. I'm fairly confident that it actually turns right. And still almost a little bit of a rest, but not much because it's still slightly climbing to the end of here and then going off to the left. And then it sort of snakes its way up, still climbing uphill but snaking. Okay, hard to get across on this video, but it really does keep going on and on and on. Again, as we're nearing the top, it looks like we're going straight ahead, but the trail actually turns you right once again. Um, again, a slight rest as it levels off slightly before it actually drops down again a bit. So at this point we actually drop down but and it's barely 10 foot before you sort of well maybe 30 foot perhaps it's not far and then you're turning and climbing once again this bit a little bit steeper than previous even though we've kind of leveled off now there's still a slight climb this is this is basically this course. Generally speaking, you're either going down or going up. So at this section now, we're starting to join back onto the track that we started on. My concerns at this point is that I'm not exactly where I showed you those arrows which means that may have missed a little turn somewhere, not 100% sure. Coming back towards the road. Um, and I think as we get to the road, we sort of start following the road back towards that two ravens along this bit of a track that runs alongside it. Back onto the road. Uh, this will be good for Barry. It gives him a chance to, to push ahead a little bit on this road section. I say push ahead. I mean move from second to sort of first. So this road, well, I say road, I mean it's, it's, more, it's like a mud road, is the flattest part of the course, generally speaking, and as we get up towards 
up to here. Path then takes you off to the left. This is a relatively new path, which winds its way along. All the trees been taken out on this section. Again, so far, nothing that we couldn't run trail shoes in so far. Okay, so we've turned left just after that gate and as we're coming along, still a fairly good path. Now, this is the section that I'm probably most worried about, the start of it anyway. This is where we will turn right and, uh, and actually it's not looking too bad considering compared to how it has been. Um, I mean, it has been, it was totally muddy but it looks like it's starting to get trodden down now this is a very fast section of the course this is the bit as i said that i'm more worried about um it has dried out you would get away with trail shoes but i think i wouldn't want to i think i personally would be going for maximum grip myself to run down here in fact, the path is looking a lot better. I'm wondering whether they've been out and cleared it a bit, ready for the race. Bit of mud here. And, uh, not whether you, they'll, well, you're turning left here, but whether they take you that bit or this little bit, I say they take you. It's still a made-up course, I forgot. Again, similar to before, where you've come downhill, you've got a slight rise, but then you're immediately downhill again. So at this point, there's you've got a path going on up, one there, one there and then the less obvious which is the route we're taking this now takes us off the deer trail we're now going downhill um, fairly it's steep it's gonna be fast there's a rock there um, it's dried out a lot it has but you still got the leaves definitely a section to take it easy on if you don't have the confidence there's a lot of leaves hiding the roots. So we're gonna do a sharp turn here and down some steps which are hidden by these leaves. Taking care because there are pegs. Pegs, be careful the pegs. Watch for the pegs. Down the steps. If you look to your left, you'll see the stone feature. Still going down. And you see this barrier, you're turning left. And then this is a kind of reasonably level section, a little bit of up and down. And then going down yet again. And going down means going back up again. <laughs> 